Today, I'm going to show you some of the craziest use cases of advanced voice mode inside ChatGPT. This is a very powerful AI assistant for SEO, and I'm going to be revealing 50 of my best free advanced voice prompts for SEO, along with how to use it, how to rank, how to create content, and even how to multitask so that you can use the advanced voice mode in the background whilst you're getting work done and how to save thousands of dollars because you don't need SEO consultants anymore. You can pretty much automate all of this stuff using ChatGPT advanced mode. It's pretty amazing whether you're doing local SEO, whether you're creating content, whether you're doing keyword research, etc. And I'm going to show you exactly how to use it today. Let's get it. All right, so what we're going to do is you can see that I've got my trusty little iPhone here. And from here, we're inside the ChatGPT app and we're gonna be using the brand new advanced voice mode to help us with SEO. So if we go onto settings right here, you can actually change the voice. So if you go to your settings, as you can see right here on the ChatGPT Plus plan, we'll scroll down and we'll scroll down to voice mode, as you can see. You can actually enable background conversations as well, so you can keep going with other apps in the background whilst your screen is off, which is crazy as well. And from here, you can see that we can select between different voices. So let's run through a few examples. You've got a choice between Soul, Breeze, Cove, Arbor, Let's go with our ball for now. We'll go with done. And then we can go into our main chat, hit a new chat, and start using this for SEO. I want you to pretend that you are an SEO consultant for juliangoldie.co.uk. What I want you to do is create an article targeting the keyword SEO training Birmingham, but I want you to subtly sell the SEO elite circle that's my product throughout the content. This is for juliangoldie.co.uk. Now, at the same time, I want you to make sure that you ask me enough questions to get the right information from me before you write the content. Let me get one audience for this article. It sees freelancers or individuals new to SEO. Two, what specific benefits of the SEO elite circle do you want highlighted throughout the article? On scaling SEO impact, community support, or specific... All right, can you find me 10 keywords for my SEO training website? Here are 10 keywords you can use for your SEO training website, tailored to attract different audiences and covering various aspects of SEO. One, SEO training course online. Two, best SEO training for businesses. Three, local SEO training programs. Four, SEO certification for beginners. Five, advanced SEO tactics workshop. SEO strategy course. Seven, technical SEO training course. Eight, SEO training for small businesses. Nine, on-page SEO training. 10. SEO coaching and mentorship. These keywords cover both general and specialized SEO topics, appealing to a range of search intents and expertise levels, from beginners to advanced users. This will help your website rank for different stages of the buyer's journey. You can also add location-specific terms like SEO training Birmingham for a more localized approach. The other cool thing is you can actually pause it and you can interrupt it halfway through and it's pretty much instant. It is a little bit buggy sometimes, it's not always perfect, but it's better than I expected. Now I actually think one of the best ways that you can actually use this is just by basically seeing ChatGPT as a consultant. Now, the cool thing is if we go back to ChatGPT and then we'll go to voice mode over here, I'm gonna go to settings and then scroll down to background conversations which will allow me to use ChatGPT in the background even while I'm on other apps and that sort of thing, right? So if we go back to ChatGPT now, we'll hit record on the voice mode, it takes a couple of minutes to load, and then we're gonna switch over to school and I'm gonna ask it some questions from my SEO mastermind. All right, so can you answer some of my questions? I'm ready to help. Ask away and I'll answer any questions you have from your SEO mastermind. What's your first question? All right, so, I've got some questions inside my mastermind. I need you to answer them like in a really short way. Is that right with you? Absolutely. Feel free to drop the questions and I'll keep the answers concise and to the point. What's the first question? Perfect. All right. The first question is, wait for it. I'm ready whenever you are. <coughs> Just hit me with the first question. What is the best tool that will automate the creation of unique articles without issues with plagiarism and is free from AI detection? For SEO. To make the creation of unique articles while avoiding plagiarism and AI detection, Zimwriter is one of the best tools available. It's highly customizable and offers advanced features to help bypass AI detection filters. Another option is Quillbot, which is excellent for rephrasing content and improving uniqueness, though it's not guaranteed to bypass AI detection completely. 
For plagiarism checks, originality.ai helps detect AI-generated content and ensure your articles remain unique. Keep in mind that while these tools can assist, combining them with human editing ensures the highest quality and uniqueness. So you can basically see the benefits there. Like, for example, if you have questions about SEO, instead of like relying on a consultant or having to jump on a call with someone, having to Google it and not really finding the actual specific answer, the cool thing about using the voice mode, especially in the background, is like you can just get on with your work, but when you have a question, you can use the voice mode in the background, save a lot of time, and ask away with your questions, which I would say is a massive, massive benefit. Now, additionally, you could be just on your laptop, and you know, you're trying to plan out your content and keywords and that sort of thing, and then you know, you got your phone on the side of the desk, and you can basically have this as an assistant, kind of like a way to, to find out questions in the background, right? So for example, let's say on your laptop, for example, you are creating content, you're using your favorite AI tool, you're trying to plan out, okay, what should I write about next? You could ask ChatGPT something like, what are 10 local SEO keywords for SEO agencies? Just like best SEO agency Birmingham, best SEO agency London, etc. Give me like 10 examples of those sort of keywords. Here are 10 local SEO keyword examples for SEO agencies, similar to best SEO agency Birmingham and best SEO agency London. One top SEO agency in Manchester. Two, best SEO services in Leeds. Three, SEO experts near me in Glasgow. Four, leading SEO company in Edinburgh. Five, affordable SEO agency in Bristol. Six, SEO consultancy in Liverpool. Seven, local SEO agency in Sheffield. Eight, top rated SEO firm in Newcastle. Nine, best SEO solutions in Nottingham. Ten, SEO specialists in Cardiff. These keywords combine location targeting with service-based search intent, which can help drive local traffic to your agency. Would you like to refine any of these for your own use? Now, if we actually go back inside ChatGPT, this is just on my laptop now, so we're using the desktop app, as you can see. And if we scroll through, what you can actually see the transcript, right? So for example, if you create an SEO article and you're like, well, what's the point if it's just translated into sound? You actually get the transcript inside the chats, as you can see. And that's super useful because, you know, for example, the keyword research that we found earlier, we've got right there. If we actually answered all of these questions, we could have it all in a chat. We could even bookmark the chat and then use that as a voice chat, right? Because once we've trained it up and we've answered all our sort of main briefing questions when it comes to content creation, it's going to be pretty easy to just say, right, create content around this keyword or create content around that keyword. And you start off where you left off before, which means, uh, you know, kind of like a custom GPT, but it's trained for voice chat so that you've got this advanced persona who can create content for your website. And the other thing as well is like, <laughs> You know, you can kind of multitask it because you can have your phone on your desk or whatever. That's working in the background, creating content or answering questions as you need it. But then you're actually doing the work on your main screen. Kind of like you were just talking to a friend on the side of you, but you're getting on with your work alongside it. And you can see all the list of the keywords that you came up with earlier, but it's much easier to go back and forth in a sort of conversational natural flow using this method instead of relying on chat GPT normal. I think it just kind of brings it to life. It's like kind of quite fun and interesting. For stuff like learning languages, this would be absolutely insane. I wish I had this before when I was learning Chinese and Spanish and all those sort of languages because it would have saved me literally hundreds, if not thousands of hours. But there's some really cool stuff you can do here, as you can see. Now, one thing that's actually super interesting. So, for example, I got it to create content for my article, as you can see, previously using the voice. So I just said, like, can you write a blog post for me? Here's a brief on what I want. It actually went off and wrote the content. Didn't do a bad job at all. And then you can see here, I asked it, wait, can you just turn that into an audio file for me? And it actually created an audio file that I can download. Now, I wouldn't recommend that approach, but I'm showing you that it's possible simply because the audio file is not the original voice. It doesn't sound as interesting as a chat GPT output, but still, it's absolutely amazing that you can do that. It kind of reminds me of Notebook LM, which is another tool you can use to embed audio inside your content. And if you could create like a podcast version of every blog that you create, then you can rank in multiple different places or you can just make your content more interesting along the way. So there's lots of different possibilities. This is just me testing out on like day one, I'm not really had a chance to properly explore it, but I can imagine as you get better and better and as you understand how all of this works, you can sort of put the pieces together and create something absolutely amazing in terms of workflows. So I think it's got a lot of promise. I wouldn't say it's perfect. It does seem to be a little bit laggy for me at the minute. I don't know if that's the internet connection or not, just something to be aware of as well. And additionally, the voice mode, advanced voice mode, as far as I'm aware, is not available on desktop or on your browser. It's mainly available just on your phone right now.
And by the way, I forgot to mention, this is free, the AI SEO success lab. So if you're interested in school communities and you just want to join, there's, shoot, we've got over 200 people in there already. And you can see like it's an awesome community, loads of people posting. This is just in the last sort of 24 hours. So if you want to join, check that out. And what I've actually done is I've actually created and crafted 50 different ChatGPT advanced voice prompts that you can use for SEO as you can see right here. So for example, writing SEO optimized content, coming up with meta titles and descriptions, performing competitor analysis, etc. Loads of really, really useful use cases specifically for advanced voice mode. You can see how easy and quick they are. So they're not like super long prompts that are going to take ages to read out. So for example, help me optimize my website for local SEO targeting and you would insert the city or region and kind of use it as your own personal SEO consultant, you could even go over to your profile, as you can see right here, click in the top right, then go to customize chat GPT. And from here, you can actually insert custom instructions. So you could program chat GPT as a assistant for you and also to reply really straight to the point. I think that's the main thing, like cut the fluff from all the advanced voice mode. So if you ask it for 10 keywords, it just gives you 10 keywords straight off the bat. You could actually put that inside the instructions and just say, get straight to the point, you know, answer my question straight away, don't explain it, etc. And that would save you a lot of time. And it would also make the advanced voice mode and chat GPT as an SEO assistant much more useful. And then you just hit save right there and you're good to go. So, so I'm surprised there's no other YouTubers talking about this in terms of like how powerful advanced voice mode is because it's brand new. It's pretty amazing. And it's something I'm going to be experimenting with a lot more. So if you want these prompts from today, what I'm actually going to do is I will copy the 50 prompts, as you can see right here. And if you log into the free SEO course, link in the comments description, then go to SEO systems and chat GPT advanced voice prompts. As you can see, we'll edit that and we shall add the advanced chat GPT voice prompts that you can see from this document right here directly inside the video notes. So you can get access to that complete for free. And if you do want to get more leads, traffic and sales with SEO and basically custom tailor everything that I talk about on my channel to your business and discover basically how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors a month, generate thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot, feel free to book that and link in the comments the description. We'll give you a one-to-one -one custom SEO game plan that gives you an SEO domination plan. You'll discover the secrets of link building. We'll answer any questions you have. You'll learn the best link building strategies for your website, plus how to outrank your competitors at link building and 10x your SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Appreciate you watching.